got my tower installed and now it's time to work on the grounding. This is a diagram of my house and the tower is indicated by that red triangle right there. I'll be installing three ground rods around the tower and they'll all be connected with number four wire and each one of those will be connected to uh, the tower, uh, each of the three legs of the tower. And so the idea is to have a single point crown where everything is connected together. So from this point I'll be going on around the house with number six wire. There's another ground rod right there on the corner of the house. And then it'll travel down the other side and it'll go to my station ground and I'll have a bulkhead in, in my station there. Then um, this is the utility ground right here. This next wire indicates uh, my coax, the path of my coax and also the uh, rotor cable. So that'll come in there and um, be connected through the bulkhead. I've located the tower in a convenient spot in the back of the house and when it's fully cranked up it's about 45 feet tall. It's a pretty handy system. Uh, it has this crank here that uh, lowers the tower down to the ground and right now I've got a bad cable I'll be replacing before I can lean it over again and at its, uh, like I said, at its highest uh, point it'll be 45 feet tall. In the lower position it's about 25 feet. So around the tower will be those three ground rods so I've got to dig a trench around there. So at this point I'm starting to install the ground rods. The idea is that if I happen to get a lightning strike, the more ground rods we have, the more the uh, energy will be dissipated before it can do damage to your uh, system. You can see the three ground rods and each will be connected to one of the legs of the tower. This is a buddy of mine, he's an electrician, so he supplied me with the number four wire, number six wire, all the clamps, and he's over here today helping me uh, get everything in. So here you can see how we've connected a number four wire to each leg of the uh, tower. And that runs down to uh, each of the ground rods, which are all connected around this circle. Then I have a ground rod here, and this is for the coax. It'll be a surge protector that'll be mounted there. And we run to a ground rod here and on around the house with number six wire. This is an Alpha Delta um, setup and it's a um, universal copper ground rod clamp that will connect to the uh, ground rod. And then uh, you buy the surge protector that the coax will plug into. And the one I've chosen is this model TT3G50. So if we get a strike, that should go to ground out there before uh, the energy comes into the shack. There's where my coax will come through. So we'll walk around the house here. At a total of about 150 feet of wire, which they recommend uh, you go around your house like this and ground telephone to it and anything, uh, you know, that's, any kind of cable that's going to your house should be grounded. 
so it goes on down down the driveway here and it will connect to a ground rod coming up right here which is my station ground and like I said that'll run into a bulkhead in there I'll have a copper plate and all my equipment inside will be grounded to that and it goes on down to the utility ground so this is my first attempt at uh, lightning protection and a proper station ground.